Uh, when I was quite young, I started competing at uh, Pony Club, and uh, we always had the opportunity there to do a little bit of show jumping, and, and that was always uh, my favourite, so I, I sort of went from there. Um, I've been competing since I was about 11 in show jumping and um, yeah, I've sort of been quite lucky to have a pretty strong numbered team uh, right the way through from there. Probably the most successful was winning the World Cup League in 2005 um, and qualifying for the World Cup final which uh, that year was in Las Vegas. Um, the last two years I've been second so I've been chasing another win but not quite got there. Um, with Ocean Beach NZPH I won the uh, World Cup final round um, in Sydney in December. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty hopeful uh, that, that we're heading in the right direction with, with that horse and stardom for uh, something uh, big again in the future. So I've got um, five horses here at the show. I've got two Grand Prix horses, uh, Stardom and Ocean Beach NZPH, which is from New Zealand Performance Horses. And uh, he's uh, on the national squad uh, for uh, the, the Olympics coming up. Um, so yesterday uh, we we're, were here at the show for the Grand Prix and uh, we're just preparing um, to go away to Sydney show next week as well. Um, that's sort of the last of the qualifiers uh, before the Games. Yeah. Yeah, um, so every week uh, between the shows we do a little bit of training at home, uh, quite a bit on the flat, a couple of times jumping. Um, here at the show, um, just a, a little ride before the class, uh, a little bit on the flat just to make sure all the buttons are working and, and then warm up and in the ring. <laughs> a fair bit, and you know, it's uh, horses really are... Uh, 24-7, they're, they're, they're there seven days a week and they need someone to be looking after them seven days a week and, and uh, you know, you go a little bit round the clock with them sometimes, we start quite early and, and we're, we're at the barn still till quite late and then, and then back down there late at night, 10 or 11 o'clock just to check them again, maybe some more rugs, uh, a little more feed and that sort of thing and then into it again the next day. Uh, look, they've got to have a good brain. You know, they they have to be trainable. They've got to be they've got to be trainable so that they can be rideable. Um, you need them to be a little bit brave, but also they need to be quite careful. So uh, it's it's tricky enough to get that perfect mix of everything together. There's plenty of horses with heaps of jump and not not so rideable, not so easy to train, and and then plenty vice versa as well. So it is hard to find the perfect horse, but you know we work with them all. That is a tough question, you know. Um, in, a, in a way, you end up with a horse and you, and you a little bit have to accept them as they are. Um, I think there are a lot of people that, that can't accept a lot of things with a horse. For me, I think I, I try to accept them the way they are. Um, but, but again, they do have to have a pretty good brain. Uh, look, I, I have a few people, um, you know, I've been, been um, a little bit overseas and around the world a little bit with show jumping here in Australia as a kid growing up. Guy Crichton was, um, you know, he was always the, the man at the top at the time and, and he's great for my career in my early days, um, trained me a lot. Um, you know, then I sort of been to Europe and, and trained with Hank Noren, who at the time trained the Swedish team, and he now trains the, the French national team. And, and, you know, he's trained people like Jos Lansik, who's, who's been world champion. Um, people like Jos as well, you know, they're, they're all pretty inspirational type people. I think everybody uh, is already trying quite hard to to develop young riders and young horses in this country. Um, it's all about quality of shows, um, you know, good gear, good grounds, um, good programs, allowing people to get the starts they need, allowing people to start in classes at the level they need to start at and that sort of thing. And, you know, I think it's a, there's a big thing in grooming riders and horses to get them to the top level and there are there are and you know there are and there have been in the past a lot of mistakes get made along the way where where riders and horses probably could have been could have been better and got out the other end a little bit stronger but uh, yeah we just have to be careful of that and 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 you know keep keep grooming them producing them the best way possible <laughs>